Internet Explorer. So for the Internet Explorer, you need to download one server. Let's do it. So here two slashes represents commenting, commenting of that lines. It represents that lines we can view it, but tool will not understand that lines and tool will not execute it. Okay. Now again, let's move to the Selenium official website once again. And here we have Internet Explorer driver server. We need to download this one, guys. Internet Explorer driver server. This has I think what we need to download. Go to the 64 bit IE and just click on download. Okay, so you'll get that in the zip, and after that, simply unzip. Once after unzipping is done. This mode your downloads. Here we can see IE server. Just again. Right click on it, go to properties, and let us write the things. But the very interesting thing what we need to understand about uh, Internet Explorer is for the Internet Explorer, some cases it may not work once we run the script. So, what we need to do is open the Internet Explorer. It's not Edge, don't get confused. Internet Explorer is different and Edge is different. I'm talking about Internet Explorer. So I'm on a Internet Explorer now. So just what you people do is just go to this gear towards the right side. Yeah, this one. Let me monitor this gear here. Tools and go to Internet Options here. In that Internet Options, just go to Security and the Internet here. I mean Internet. And please uncheck this. Enable Production Mode. That sh should be unchecked. If you check it, then high chances your test will fail. And go to the local Internet. Uncheck there. Trusted site, make the trusted zone to minimum low and even uncheck this. Restricted site, let it be high, it's not a problem with that. Even if you want, you can move it to the low, but make sure to uncheck this. Enable production mode. Don't check it, it should be unchecked. Fine. Okay, then let's move on to the script and generate system. Dot set property and the key is web driver dot ie just ie dot driver and the path just copy the path. The path, so what does not go here? ID. IE driver server, even uh, the name is case sensitive. Better copy the name from this location. So now I am working on an Internet Explorer. So what class I need to use? Internet Explorer a driver is a class what I need to use. Once we write web driver driver, then the problem will be fixed. 
you can see few errors don't worry about that now see web driver is a interface driver is a object is equal to new what is the class for the firefox we have used firefox driver for the chrome we have used chrome driver for the internet explorer we need to use internet driver internet explorer driver so don't get confused as i said i'm going to give you the notes here we have for the internet this is uh, internet explorer driver you can see that okay internet explorer driver e is uppercase d is uppercase and even i is also uppercase so simply you can write it after that you can change it internet x p l o r e r v r i v e r internet explorer driver and we are mouse onto it then system will display this change to that specific item change to web driver open qa dot serenium just see okay so first i have set the system properties and i am trying to new internet explorer and in that i am going to write the testing tools online dot in i am getting the print again. okay so let me run the test same process for the opera also so internet explorer on the screen it's waiting for testing tools online dot in and we got testing tools online dot in on the screen and even it captures the title it's not not it capture it captures once that once it has been loaded you can see it it has successfully captured this is how we can work on chrome firefox and ie same like that we can work in opera and for the safari we have few information to learn about the safari if you want to work with the safari here we go safari use apple safari with safari 10 plus so safari now requires so there is no safari driver actually safari driver now requires manual installation of extension prior to automation okay so it, it works like for the safari it is something like an extension there is no need to write anything okay just download that and automatically you run it it will add it as a extension to your safari browser then you can simply execute the test clear so this is a bit different with the safari but for the other browsers again uh, the all the points remain the same so now we have worked with how to open the browser and open a website and get the title a simple simple activities we have done it now in the next session we are going to look how to handle the elements how to click on a button how to write something into the edit box how to select something from the list box so all these things we'll be seeing in the next class stay tuned